Aloha, my name is Jim Cooper and I'm the current board president of the First Unitarian Church of Honolulu. Today I'll be summarizing the accountability and resources chapter from widening the circle of concern, the report of the UA Commission on Institutional Change. This section primarily includes recommendations and actions that should be taken at the UA level, including changes to the structure of the board and the bylaws. In particular, one change recommended is that one of the issues that we have had in Unitarian Universalism is that we have set up structures that are accountable to individuals rather than to representative groups. And this undermines our democratic process. Instead of individual representation, the accountability group model is proposed, consisting of representatives from a variety of identity-based groups. And those representatives meet together to discuss issues of accountability. Individuals join accountability groups because of the marginalization they experience in our larger culture. And this is a good way to make sure that we are accountable to communities rather than to individuals. The key takeaway from this chapter is this, work to counter oppressive practice in our systems should be embedded in all levels of the UA, including at the congregational and community levels. One action particularly called out for individual congregations was a request that all Unitarian Universalist related organizations examine their commitment to equity, inclusion, and diversity work and include such a commitment in their bylaws. This was the last chapter in the Widening the Circle of Concern report. And today will be our last after service discussion session, at least for a while as we start considering our next actions. If any of you have been motivated by the book or the discussions and have ideas about where and how we at First Unitarian can work to eliminate systemic racism in our own organization, please feel free to reach out to me at board at unitariansofhi.org. Mahalo for your time.